In this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to compare an individual month's sales to the average for that same month across all years. In other words, I might want to compare how January 2015 compares to the average of all Januaries. Let me explain it to you through an example. I'm going to start by put, just putting order date on the rows as year and as month on the columns and put sales in a table. If I turn on grand totals and I make this an average, I can see that for my average for all Januarys is 368,038. I want to basically say, okay, January 2012, 516, how does that compare to the 368? Well, I could do that with table calculations. But if I use table calculations, then it requires that I have the year and the month in the view in order to calculate it. So how can we do this with level of detail expressions? Well, the first thing we need to do is we need to be able to calculate these numbers that are in the grand totals. So how do we go about doing that? So I'm going to first create a calculated field, and I'm just going to call it monthly average sales. And for this, I'm going to start with a uh, level of detail expression. I'm going to fix it. At the, I could fix it at the year and month level. I'll, I'll show you two different ways to do this. And then I want to take the sum of sales. Okay, I'm going to hit apply, and then I'm just going to drag this into the view. And what you'll see now is I'm getting the same value back. So that's not quite what we're looking for. What I need to actually do then is change this. And what I need to do now is this first part down here is saying for each year and month, return the sum of sales, and that's exactly what Tableau is doing. But now what I need to do is I need to aggregate that up. I need to aggregate these numbers up to the monthly level. So I'm going to fix this one again Oops. at the month level. And then I want to take the average of these values and close that off. So now, we, again, you read these from the inside out. So this is saying for each year and month, return the sum of sales. And then for each month, so this would be the date part, so this is the name of the month, give me the average across all of those years. So now let's hit apply, and you'll see we get that same number that matches our average grand total. Great. Well, we can actually simplify this level of detail expression a bit. We actually don't need year in the view. Instead of making this a date part, I can make it a date trunk. So this looks a bit cleaner to me. And this is, again, because it's date trunk, that, in, that factors the year in as well. So a date trunk is saying year and month, not just month. So if I hit apply, you'll see the numbers didn't change. OK, so that's how we use the level of detail expression to calculate our monthly average sales. From there, we just need to calculate the percent difference from that. So let's call this percent uh, versus monthly average. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the sum of sales and I'm going to divide that by our monthly average. So this will need to be a sum as well. And this is going to give us that ratio. I can hit OK. And now I'm going to go ahead and format the default number format for this. Make it a percentage maybe to one decimal. And then I can put that in the, on the measure value shelf and let me go ahead and turn off my grand totals now. And now you can see January of 2012 was 140% above the average. OK, so now what I could do with this is I can now take these out of the view, and I could just make a simple line chart out of this, right? So if I do something like that, you'll see I get a straight number. But what I really want to do is maybe I wanted to compare the Januaries, or I want to compare the years, something like that. So now we can see for each month, so January 20, uh, so if I highlight 2015 here, and I could even go here and assign those to the palette, you can see January uh, of 2015 was uh, just under 100% compared to all other Januaries. So it might be useful here to have everything versus a 100% um, a baseline. So if we wanted to look at the difference from the monthly average, so maybe another way to look at this is the difference from monthly average variance. I can now say 1 minus this value. 
I'm sorry, now I got the backwards, that minus one. And let's see what this does now. So, oh, okay, I need to format this one again. Default properties, number format, percentage, one decimal. And now we can see January of 2015 was uh, about 1% or 0.9% lower than the rest of them. So the good thing about this now is if I want to filter my years, so let me just go ahead and show the filter. And let's say I want to look at just 2015. I still get the correct numbers because my level of detail expression is including year in, in, the, uh, in the calculation. So if you did that with table calcs, you wouldn't be able to filter down to the year very easily. It would be much more difficult. So uh, just a real simple example. Again, what we're trying to look at here is how does a single month compare to the average across all months? And let me show you this level of detail expression one more time. And uh, what I, I'll put a comment in here, and I'll say something like, we want to calculate, uh, I'll, I'll just type it out for each, each month and year, return the sales. So this would be, I'm gonna put a one next to this because this happens first, these work inside out. And then two, for each month, calculate the average sales. Okay, so maybe this is, let's call that total sales. Okay, so hopefully that makes a bit more sense. Let me spread it out a bit. And there you go. So for each month and year, return the total sales. And then for each month, calculate the average sales. And this is kind of a way to do analysis on whether months are historically performing better than they would have in the past. So another way to do this then might be to be, let's go ahead and take, uh, let me duplicate this sheet. And instead of having year on color, let's take that off and let's change this to continuous months. And now we could see those same two metrics. And you can, uh, so here, if we look at the difference to the monthly average, we can see it across all months and years. So uh, again, a kind of a, a different example there. So maybe this one we look at as a bar chart or something like that. And then we could take this and put that on color. And now we see, you know, how many months were performing above and below the historical average. So just a couple simple examples there for you. Hope you found that useful. And I'll be back soon with another tip. Have a great day.